The Feynman technique is one of the best study strategies out there, but most people get it wrong. They think they're using the Feynman technique, but what they're actually doing is parroting information. The difference between those two determines whether you remember for a day or you understand for life. My name is Dr. Eric Albinson, and as an education PhD and professional academic coach, I have successfully used the Feynman technique with college students over the past six years. In this video, I'll walk you through why the Feynman technique works so well and how to understand the science behind it. Once you understand this, you will take your studying to the next level. When you look up the Feynman technique, you'll find a lot of variations, but the core idea is that you learn best by teaching and to teach effectively, you need to simplify the information. You take complex ideas, put them in your own words and explain them clearly. Feynman would often ask, how would you teach this to a child? That's brilliant advice. But here's the part most people miss, and it's the key to making the technique actually work. It's an important step that happens before you start teaching. It's hard to teach without a personal understanding of the material. If you're just repeating someone else's explanation, your teaching would feel awkward and scripted. Let me give you an example. I teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu classes, and sometimes I'll watch an instructional video and then teach that technique to the class. And when I do that, my teaching is fine. It's passable. My fundamentals are solid enough that I can demonstrate it, but overall it's meh. Now, when I teach a move I've used before, that I've used for years, that's different. I know the common mistakes because I've made them. I can adjust when my partner's defense is solid. I understand the tiny details that make the move click. And I know what it feels like when it's done right. It's the same move but my experience has made it uniquely mine. I've experimented, failed, adapted, and refined the technique. And that's exactly what Feynman did, just with physics instead of grappling. When he was preparing for his PhD exams, Feynman didn't just memorize textbooks, he built his own version of the material. He took a notebook and titled it, Things I Don't Know About Physics, which is fascinating because how do you know what you don't know? It's very tricky, but the answer is you have to test yourself. So Feynman started writing everything he knew about physics from memory. Today we call this technique brain dumping, also known as retrieval practice or the testing effect. Pulling information from memory is one of the most powerful learning strategies we know. It forces you to organize information in your own way, in your own words, and it reveals your knowledge gaps, all the little things that you can't quite explain yet. Now that you know what you don't know, that's where the magic happens. Your studying becomes laser focused. You're no longer rereading what you already understand. You're filling gaps and building real understanding. Feynman kept refining his notebook until it contained everything he needed to know, written in his own voice and organized in a way that made sense to his brain. That's the real power of the Feynman technique, moving beyond repetition to your own understanding your own meaning. Because when you take the time to reconstruct the material in your own way, you become a far better teacher. Building your own Feynman notebook is the first critical step that most people skip, but the process doesn't end there. The notebook is just the foundation for the refinement cycle, which leads to deep understanding. Once you've built your version of Feynman's notebook, teach it. Teaching is one of the best ways to uncover blind spots. When you explain something out loud, you quickly find the ideas you thought you understood, but you couldn't quite put into words. And when someone asks you a question and you can't answer it, that's perfect. They are helping you find a more nuanced understanding of your topic. And after you find all those little teeny knowledge gaps, Feynman recommended three steps to refine your understanding even deeper. You continue to organize, you smooth out the rough spots, clarify and expand your notes. You simplify. You ask, how would I explain this to a child? Simplicity builds confidence and helps your brain see the big picture before diving into the small details. You tell stories, you connect it to real life, you use metaphors, analogies, and personal examples. This step transforms abstract academic concepts into real understanding. Then you teach it again. But now you're not mindlessly repeating information. You're reconstructing it. You're making meaning. You're connecting what you've learned to what you already know, believe, and value. That's how raw information becomes deep 
understanding. That's how theory becomes insight. And if you keep cycling through this process, you'll reach a level of mastery that no amount of passive studying can match. That's the neuroscience optimized version of the Feynman technique. Step one, you build your own Feynman notebook, a study guide made by your brain. Step two, you teach it. Step three, you refine it using Feynman's process. You continue to organize, you simplify, and you tell a story, which means you are applying the information. Step four, you teach it again. And then step five, it's the refinement cycle. Teach, refine, teach, refine. Here's a quick challenge. In the comments, brain dump everything you learned in this video. See what you can recall, no notes. This is what I'd want you to do if you're studying on your own. Let's put the Feynman technique to work. And if you want more science-backed learning strategies, make sure you like and subscribe. You got this.